Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Now in today's class we will discuss about the rolling motion. Rolling motion means what? When a body it rolls over on a surface. That type of motion is called as a rolling motion. Now here, majorly two types of motion are included in the rolling motion. The first type, the body or its circumference it will undergo the circular motion. Okay? And center of mass it will undergo the translation motion. That means straight line motion. Okay. When objects are roll hot, put us at the The during this rolling, the circumference will perform the circular motion, or a particular point or particle it will perform the circular motion. But center of mass, center of mass, so the bodies are cell that will be always directed towards the straight line. That means here translation motion plus rotational motion, uh, circular motion, both will act together. Okay. So here this diagram will represent you the rolling motion example. Okay. So this rolling motion can be on any surface, flat surface or on the inclined surface. So here we are considering only the kinetic energy of this rolling motion. Okay. So as we know that we uh, this uh, rolling motion it is nothing but the addition of this circular motion and translate translatory motion of that particle center of mass and this other particles from that body okay now we will consider this concept and we will denote that let i is the moment of inertia of the object then v translatory velocity that means straight line velocity we can say it rectilinear velocity then capital r it is the radius of the body Next, uh, omega, it is the angular velocity possessed by the body. Then, we know that angular velocity and linear velocity both are related. So, omega is equals to V by R. The relation of the use is the format of the model. So, we require omega later on. Hence, we find here omega is equals to V divided by R. Okay. Capital M is the mass of the body. And the last, capital K, it is the radius of the gyration. We already discussed what is the radius of gyration. Okay. So, K represents here radius of gyration. So, depending on this, what is moment of inertia due to radius of gyration? I is equals to mk square. Okay. So, here it is radius of gyration with the moment of inertia. Okay. Now, we will find the total kinetic energy. Our point or our point of consideration is that only that we what is the kinetic energy of the rolling body because rotational objects are kinetic energy upon card line it is one half i omega square and linear motions are already mighty it is one half mv square so whenever a body is rolling that means it is combination of circular motion and the rotation motion then what is its kinetic energy so what is total kinetic energy the addition of these two kinetic energies that means rotational kinetic energy plus translatory kinetic energy so here we write here for translatory motion kinetic energy is represented as one half mv square and for rotational kinetic energy it is plus one half i omega square okay substitute the value for the i and omega okay the second term at the rhs we know that how to replace i in previous slide we have learned that i is mk square and omega is v by r so substitute these two values here in the second term only we will get here kinetic energy rolling e is equals to one half mv square plus one half instead of i it is mk square and um, omega v by r so omega square will be v square by r square Okay. Now, see both the terms at the uh, RHS, 1 half mv square is common. So, take 1 half mv square as a common. The remaining term in the bracket, it is taken to be from the first term. 1 is remaining, current total term 1 half mv square common get lila. So, what is remaining there? 1 plus second term 1 half mv square common kaad lila nantar hathoe. Fakta k square divided by r square. So, 1 half mv square into bracket 1 plus k square by r square. This is kinetic energy for the rolling motion. Okay, and when an object it is performing the rolling motion, at that time kinetic energy is this. 
now you clearly observe that one half mv square means it is nothing but the translational motion or straight line motion kinetic energy one half mv square and now it is only multiplied with the one plus k square by r square means here radius of gyration will play important role for finding the kinetic energy in the rolling motion okay. so hope you understand this concept for this kinetic energy for the rolling motion okay later we discuss one more concept regarding the rolling motion in the next lecture if you have any doubt regarding any step here Please comment here, like our videos, share it and subscribe.